Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a Rising World tutorial video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to cook some food on one of these three items in front of me. So first thing you want to do is make the items, which you can go into your inventory tab, go to crafting. In there, in there you can make a fireplace, which is nine stone and one piece of log. And for the rest of them, you have to go into the sawmill and go to miscellaneous. They'll probably be end up moving these, but that's okay. The grill, that's how you make the grill. Three iron rod and 16 iron sheets. Smoker, six rods, 14 iron sheets. And the cooking grill, which goes over the campfire. I already have one of all these items with me, so. And also, all three of these things actually take the same amount of time to cook, so. Let's just grab our grill. It auto clicks right to it nothing to it. Hold down your right click to place it and now you can place food on top of that. All the foods have different cook times but on each one of these they take the same amount of time so let's go to this one first. If you press F then you can click to turn it on. Uh, F and then you have to open it and then you can turn it on off. I don't think it matters if it's open or not in this update but I'm sure someday they'll make it so you have to close it. Right now all I have is some ribs and some bacon. I don't have any beef steak, but anyways. The bacon takes 180 seconds. The ribs take 550 seconds. And the steak takes 250 seconds to cook. And to burn, it's half the time, like, once they're cooked, it takes half the time to burn them. Okay, now we can place, then you walk up to your any cooking thing, and it'll automatically be placed on the grill. And then you can right click to place it on set grill. So we'll put the ribs on here. You can use the arrow keys to rotate it to your liking. We'll place it there. And now that's cooking. And if you want to feel really good, you can close this. Now we'll go over here and put the bacon on here. Just because we have it. It's on four, so we can place it on four. And you can just put as many as you want of them on there. As long as they aren't touching each other, I believe. Oh no, they can even be touching each other. Okay, and that's all there is to cooking, and once those are cooked, they'll change color, which we will see in a bit 180 seconds. Let's just try to throw them all on there, and there's your hunger meter is in the bottom corner, it's the fork and knife. It'll start to turn kind of a different color eventually, kind of like my water. I'm trying to find a good spot here to show it. Uh, see how the fork and knife are a little bit brighter green than the water? bottle. That's because I'm more full than I am thirsty. It'll start to turn like more of a swamp green the more hungry you are. Hopefully they will change that in the future. So this will cook first and then we'll uh, stop right after these cook. So let's just wait for these to cook. Okay, now they're starting to cook. As you can tell, the two in the middle changed color and that's what they look like basically when they're cooked. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video today, and I guess uh, if you want to see more useful videos, just check out the playlist, and there might be some more useful videos in there to help you with your journeys in Rising World. You just pick these up by pressing F, and they'll be cooked in your inventory. You don't have to worry about them spoiling or anything like that. Anyways, thanks for watching this tutorial, and Starmeister is out.